You know how you're having a wonderful day and you binge watching one of your favourite YouTubers? For me, mine is Molly Burke. <laughs> And you spy something extremely useful to you and you watch it and watch it and watch it and watch it and watch it. Well, I saw something that was extremely useful on Molly Burke's channel and on the right hand side, you should be able to click on it. It is beauty products made for the blind. And on the left hand side, there is an older video that she did about the accessibility of products. Now, as a manufacturer myself, I, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I've never thought about accessibility. And I was a little bit disappointed about her belief of on Braille on boxes. OK, um, I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little bit disappointed because I, I as a manufacturer, I find it so frustrating trying to get both uh, affordable prices for packaging and the product along with accessibility because accessibility is considered as a niche market it's not considered as something that we should just you do as a universal design and so as a consequence i had to pay about 300 pounds to put braille on the blind soap maker boxes so that people know who it came from i put luxury soap and and i had to um pay 300 pounds to have the luxury of putting it on my boxes um, i did deliberately choose uh, a lot of color on my products so that people could see the color on the product and say that's such and such a fragrance i like that <laughs> Molly Burke is a big proponent, it seems to me, as an individual blind person, of herbal essences. And I don't blame her because she is promoting their universal design on their packaging. So I thought, all right, OK, I used to use herbal essences. I used to absolutely love herbal essences. I'll go to the shops. I'll, I'll go and have a look at it. Have a look at the packaging again. Um because i loved how i could tell which one was mine because i could see the label and i could see the color differentiation of each product i'm glad to say that it hasn't really changed but i've got to be honest if you have a look at this photo on the left hand side is the old packaging like really really old and on the bottom as molly burke says so often they're not the bottom designs on them aren't really uh, clear to feel i am a braille user like molly burke is and and i can't feel whether it's meant to be circles or lines to tell which one is shampoo and which one is conditioner the thing i did like however was that in the new, in the latest products, they've decided to have their shampoo in the old bottle, more kind of square bottle, and their conditioners in more like lotion bottles. Now, I don't know whether this is going to become a problem when they decide to make lotions, <laughs> herbal essence lotions, but I thought that is fabulous because when you're in the shower as molly says and you've got your eyes closed because you don't want suds and soap and stuff in your eyes and you put your hands out you want to be able to touch which one is which which one is definitely which and that that is kind of a universal design but again if you're using like a body product that's kind of like a lotion and comes in a lotion bottle so that when you're putting it on your body it it might not work as well but the, the fact is, is that if I have it in a drawer, I know which one is which because of the bright colourings and the bottle. I mean, obviously, it could be made a little bit better. But here is an example of a product which you can buy in the link, hopefully, that I'll be able to put down below. That I... Um, a little bit jealous of. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit jealous 
of this product because it does have a universal design. Now, here it is. It is by Mway or Amway, okay? Um, <laughs> I don't know how to spell it. I can't read the bottles. I don't know whether it's Amway spelled A-M-W a y or m y is an e m w a y i'm presuming it's amway as in american way because it's an american company but otherwise i i cannot tell um <laughs> the reason why i like this these two bottles of shampoo and conditioner is that not only have they got like a, a feelable maybe not understandable label at the top on their lids but they have a bit of a salt and pepper design. Now, the reason why I say that is because salt and pepper usually, salt usually comes in white and pepper usually comes in the black colour. I don't know whether it's black or like a steely grey colour, but my colour vision isn't brilliant. The thing I like about this is that it's an obviously different colour from one to the other. So that if, you're, if you do have a bit of colour vision, you can tell which one is which. The other thing I like is that the writing is so clear that I can get seeing AI to read the backs of them to me. Here comes another frustration as a manufacturer myself. How on earth do you get in contact with the, with the people that kind of safeguard a database that will read the backs, you know, the little QR codes? How, how do I get my products on those QR codes? I, I am still to work out and it, it is a, a frustration, but I am a smaller company at the moment. The thing I most like about this design is the smoothness and the hand holds of these bottles. They're kind of made so that you can kind of squeeze and hold them and the smooth one is the conditioner. The one with the ridges, if you can feel that, if you can hear that, is your shampoo. So that when you're like totally blind and you're looking for it, you can feel it. You know, you know which one's your shampoo and which one's your conditioner. You can take it out and you can use it. So that's what I love. That is what I absolutely love about this particular product. Again, I am hoping <laughs> that I will be able to get a link on the bottom of this video so that you can just either click on it or type it in or I'll probably add a link to the description bar below so that you can just click on it and it'll take you to where you can buy this product. If you really want to, don't feel you have to, but I use it and it's nice to just support someone that thinks about everyone and, and values everybody and, and tries to do their best to make sure that people can actually access what they want to access. So I wish you a good day and I will see you soon. Bye.